Hello everyone, this is a lecture for how to do the hypothesis testing. In the beginning, we're going to be working on that how to mathematically writing hypothesis. There's two different hypotheses that you have to write. One is a null hypothesis and the other one is alternative. It always comes with a pair, complementary. Based on your claim, you write your hypothesis first and then figure out as HO and H1 and then write the complementary form. So null hypothesis is always have an equality sign. As you can see, its equality sign is there in your mathematical form and that's the null. An alternative doesn't have an equality sign. So let's take a look at some of the examples so we can practice it. So this is the example. The keyword in this example is, is the population average amount of TV viewing is 12 hours. So is is important and 12 is important. What's in the claim, that's the mu, population mean. So we have a 12 as a mu, so we write this way. Mu equals to 12, that was a is. So because we have the equality sign, that goes with the HO. And the next example is the population average amount of TV viewing difference from 12 hours. So again, mu 12 hour is the same. Now it's a symbol in the hypothesis is changes. It's not equals. So because of there's no equality sign, this one goes to H1. It's alternative. The next example, keyword is less than or equals to 12 hours. So in this case, what we're writing it is less than or equals to 12, and because we have an equality sign at here, it goes to the HO. Next example is the average amount of TV viewing at least 12 hours. So at least is writing this way, greater than or equals to 12. So we have another equality sign here, so this is HO. Next example, is the average amount of TV viewing greater than 12 hours? So it's a greater than, so it's, there is no equality sign in this example, so this is H1 alternative. Last example, so is the average of the TV viewing less than 12 hours? Again, doesn't have the equality sign on it, so this one is also the alternative. So these are the different examples of different types of the mathematically writing hypothesis. Again, the number, it's the population mu, it's from your claim. So this number will always change it. But the front part, mu equals to, does not equals to, greater than, less than, that you have to figure it out from the reading the claim like this. You have to read the question and then find the wording to change it to the mathematically and identify this is HO or H1. In, at the end, we will have actually three different types of pair, complementary pair of the hypothesis testing. So first one is, we always write from HO first, mu equals to 12, H1, mu does not equals 12. That's the one pair, complementary, then HO, mu, greater than equals to 12, H1, mu is less than 12. So another pair, HO, mu is less than or equals to 12, H1, mu is greater than 12. So we have three different types of the pairs of the hypothesis testing. No matter what you do, your claim is gonna be one of these six. Once you figure it out your claim, you always have to write the complementary form. Once you have that, we're gonna testing this one. Based on, on the, our alternative testing, alternative hypothesis, will give you the information on the rejection reason. So based on the rejection reason, you are gonna be able to make the decision on your hypothesis testing. So this is called two-tailed test. Again, it's from the alternative testing. So symbol does not equals to, this is called two-tailed test. And this one, based on the alternative test, your symbol in alternative is goes that way. So your rejection reason is lower tail or left tail. Okay? 
Last one, your rejection reason is upper tail. Symbols in your alternative gear toward this direction. So right tail, upper tail, lower tail, left tail, two tail. So in this area, shaded area, we called rejection reason. So when you find your test statistic, if your test statistic is go into those rejection reason, we're going to reject HO. And then if your test statistic is not in the rejection reason in this area, not shaded area, we are failed to reject HO. That's how to make the decision. It's all around how to write mathematically of your hypothesis.